Take that back housing off so we can check the bearings in the back. This one has four A millimeters. Now they, these guys are long. Uh, they might break. I'm pretty sure on this video you're actually gonna see them. Um, let me see. Is one right there? Touch it. Right there. Okay. Pretty sure the camera will focus it if you there get you it closer. Go. Yeah. Yeah, it's right. And you see they're fairly rusted. Yeah, it's right there. So we're gonna see what we if we can get them out without breaking them. Yeah. It's not odd for those things to break if they've never been changed before. This unit's about uh, I'd say 15 years old. I will spray some W40 in there if you can help it to. So it's a good possibility they'll break. If they do break, we'll just have to get new ones. Yeah. Okay. All right. It takes eight millimeters. Yeah. Use your ratchet. I don't know. It's turning, but. But that I don't might... know if that's truly turning or is it twisting at all? Yeah, off? that bottom might be just twisting or completely rusted off. Oh, right. Believe it or not, it's turning. Yeah, you can hear that W40 yep. doing its job on the bottom. Yeah. Now another thing that I want I want to point out real quick, uh, if you can please just look at this wire. This is the ground. And you can see that we can kind of try a little bit, but it didn't come up. Just cut it off. Try to be as gentle as you can with the unit. This this is our copper, so those are rust proof. But this guy in here, it got so rusted that it will not even come off. So we're going to soak it in W40, let it sit in there. When we put everything back to it, we try to take it off. That way you don't break a house or anything like that. You want to be very gentle with everything that you touch. So let's see, we have the same blessing with all the other four. This one feel hard, a little bit hard. Oh, I heard okay. something. Okay, let's see. Okay, well, okay. She, she seems golden. Let's see the other one. So far? So good. Let's see. Rio 2, pump 0. <laughs> yes, that's <laughs> There you go. All right. Oh, three. Oh, man. Three for three. I'm pretty sure even if they come good, maybe you want to buy them. Because these guys, they've been here forever. All right, slowly. Don't don't use your impact on here, though. Try to use your your rush to be, be kind and nice to it. All right. Now, there they are. Now, they're loose. Once they're loose, you can actually use your gun. Don't use your gun to actually lose them out. And be, be slow, be gentle with them. Where'd you get that shirt at? This shirt? Yeah. Okay. Now when they're coming out, they're rusted, so if you wiggle them, you turn them back and forth, back and forth. You can take some of that rust off. Yeah, might be a good idea to soak those. And you can actually see where the W40 went, in, went yep. in here and kind of loosen up all that dirt. Yeah, might be a good idea to soak those. Yes, let them soak in uh, something to dilute all that rust. There's Open another one. Cola. Same thing, you can see where the W40 went all the yep. way in there. Uh, let's see all this guy. A lot of guys don't use do WD-40. They just try to manhandle it. And sometimes yeah. that's how you break things. Yeah. This pump here is approximately 15 years old. And this has never been done to it. It's never been serviced. Same thing. Yep. Very nice stretch. All right, guys. We're going to massage this a little bit. Yep. Uh, we're going to use a rubber mallet. Just tap it around, tap it around, tap it around. <laughs> And once this thing is about to come off, we will shoot another video to show you guys how it looks once it comes coming out. Okay.